Hey everyone, it's your girl, Maddie here, aka Beaver Mosh. And today I'm talking to you about Sfog Total, a new album from the Copenhagen, Denmark based project, Jessam Christum, coming to you off of Canti Iratisi Records. And here we have some particularly raw atmospheric black metal that portrays this real sense of mystique. There are times on this record that are rather enchanting and spellbinding, but at other times the music is very grating and abrasive. Throughout the entire album, even with all of the evolving tones and textures that you'll experience upon listening to this, there is this laser sharp focus and attention to mood and feeling throughout. This album is only four tracks, but each one is given time and space to evolve and allows you to explore its intricacies. The way the opening track slip starts off, the volume kind of begins to fade in at the beginning it's almost indecipherable but as this buzzing riff gets louder and and more intense and more felt you can sense the harshness just begin to surround you as a listener the you could tell very quickly upon starting this record that the sound is intentionally lo-fi there is this searing noisy quality to it but with that grating production style all of the elements still come through really well the guitars here produce this cacophony of somber and bleak melodies and the riffs are fast and piercing with that the very trebly tone allows for these strum chords to have this scissor-like cutting effect. The vocals come through with these distressed and shrill cries in into the night. They're kind of lower into the mix in a way that draws you further in into experiencing the anguish being communicated. There's also these synthesized sounds that play a big role it adds this confusion and, and mystery to the atmosphere in a good way i feel these like alien pinging sounds that kind of drag you into the conclusion of this track drainet pa uvis tid begins with these ominous bells it's a very foreboding and creepy atmosphere to start it feels very slow and and frigid and at the same time the guitars crawl in further and further in intensely it's an excellent exercise in the creation of mood in black metal and the drums too come through and bring a lot of energy with these quick snapping snares and these ringing cymbals. There are some more sustained passages here, some with droning synth and isolated guitar. The band really knows how to develop these rich tapestries and atmosphere, even within such a raw sounding record. There are elements that come in and surprise Take, for example, on this track, the, the clean vocalizing here. Some of the melodies and runs that the guitars produce feel cinematic and theatrical, even with the harsh, thin, and gritty production. I would say, actually, if this came through a less raw filter, it would feel less theatrical the sound here 
injects a certain darkness that may be missing if this came through a more conventional production. You also get these spoken word passages over these spacious synths. It's ethereal, it's otherworldly, and it's just this enigmatic section you get. Eh, but that's before everything flies into something much heavier and, and sharper. Eh, you, it drifts into these percussive, hammering strums and these angered attacks from the drums. On pause fra a kisten, you get this lone, hypnotic, and, and patiently plucked guitar. It's dark, and it's sorrowful, and it's mesmerizing, and it's allowed to develop this way for over two minutes. And within that time, it just being guitars and some faint feedback, it definitely stirs up this sense of wonder and anticipation and begins to present this very dark mystery. Slowly, the guitars do become a little more involved. You can feel them progressing and, and heading towards a certain destination. And as it's building, you can feel them joined by some minimalist sense that come through in a sort of romantic and gothic approach. It's just very deeply felt and somber. And I just admire and love how the band is allowing this track to develop as slowly as it needs to, to achieve that desired despondent mood. This long instrumental piece is just very chilling and haunting and, and moving as well. It's just so well paced and composed. There's almost this mysterious folksiness presented on the closing track, Herxer, especially with the very tangible melodies involved. And the vocals here are the loudest it's been on the entire record, almost as if they've been saved in grandeur for the conclusion. There's a lot of bite and aggression behind these sneers that are being let out. And on top of the more rapid, forward-moving tremolos, you get these screeching, atonal weeds on top. It's a truly perplexing pairing that adds to this chaotic sense of disarray that you're starting to feel. And just overall, the slowly developing tonalities that this record is presenting and has presented up to this point. It's just totally mystifying. The second half of this track is just so triumphant, which is not a way I would have described the earlier stages of this record. And it's done so with these big, swinging, melodic guitar runs. They knew where this record was going and they had its big ending and it led you there through stages and chapters. There was a script to this album. And I also really admire these very clean, pagan-esque hums that are just added to this feeling of epicness. It really works with everything else going on. Svag Total is a black metal album that somewhat wrapped itself around this noise and this hum and underneath that wall, this grim, harsh soundscape is something very hypnotic. This record is is grim and, and fierce, but simultaneously it's also very haunting and evocative and, and beautiful too, in a very kind of depressed way. This is a record that may require you to adjust, really sit there and understand the noisiness and the intentionally lo-fi production. You'll get the most out of this as you draw your attention closer and closer. But if you are someone who's willing to do that, and if that's something that interests you and something you are wanting to do, I think there is a lot to unravel with this. It's a rewarding effort. And I feel that 
a lot of you that watch my videos will agree. And in that way, I'm giving you my recommendation. And hey, what do you know? It's the end of the video. If you enjoy my videos and my content, consider hitting that like button. It really helps get it out there. It'd mean the world to me if you consider subscribing. Leave a comment. I love engaging with those. I have a Twitter you can follow. Link to that bio this YouTube channel. And hey, keep it metal. My name is Maddie, aka Beaver Mosh, and I'm signing off.